Khan. I'm Ajit Khan. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the user data provided by AWS. I've written a blog post for it. What is user data and where it can be used? So basically, uh, AWS provides to run some script or commands at launch time of an instance. This is known as user data. For example, um, maybe you want to have certain packages installed or certain configuration file to be present in the instance when you are launching it. You don't want to uh, do the stuff manually after launching the instance. So uh, you might want all these things to be present on the instance already. So for this, you can use user data. So in user data, you can provide some script or a certain set of commands which will be run at the launch time of the instance. So uh, let's see wh uh, what is it. So for example, we'll be launching an instance and we'll be providing this user data. So here, this is a simple bash script. Uh, we are simply setting uh, the debug mode uh, so that uh, we should get all the, what all commands have been run because we won't be able to see uh, what all commands have been run, which one got failed. So uh, we are uh, we are redirecting the standard output in this log file, user data dot log. This would get created, and whatever uh, standard output would be there, whatever command will get executed will get logged in this file. After that, we are simply creating a file named created by user data dot txt, and we are putting certain content here uh, there uh, in this file. So uh, this is a simple use case to get started with. So uh, let's launch an instance. So I'll be choosing Amazon Linux AMI. You will uh, get user data at the configuration instance, configure instance detail page in the advanced detail part. Here is the user data. So here we will say do all this stuff so this is our simple bash script next up uh, uh, remains the same yeah. let's give it a name user data Okay, so the instance is getting launched. Let's wait for it. Uh, let's talk about the use case of user data. So, uh, for example, uh, you might be having auto scaling setup and uh, your instance uh, may be coming dynamically. Uh, they will be getting launched dynamically at any point of time and at any point of time they might get terminated. So you, you might want to have, say, for example, chef client to be installed or a certain configuration tool to uh, run on that stance to do the required stuff. Say, for example, uh, you need certain packages to be installed. You need certain uh, files, configuration files for Nginx or MySQL to be installed or uh, present there on the stance. So uh, you, uh, what you can do is you can uh, provide certain uh, user data. Say, for example, if you are setting up chef client so you can uh, give the commands to install chef client fetch the uh, get get the required configuration file for chef client from s3 and um, run the chef client so this will do your basic stuff and uh, this use case you can also see on a blog post of mine bootstrapping auto scale instances with chef so here I have explained how I have used this user data to install the chef client on the uh, when the instance is getting launched. So uh, this is a separate part. You can uh, you can read it later. But for now, we'll focus on this example only. So our instance is ready. Let's go and uh, SSH into instance and see what has happened.
so as stated uh, we are creating this file in the home directory of ec2 user so we are inside the home directory of ec2 user let's see if this file has been created yeah this file has been created let's see if the required content is there or not yeah there yeah. so uh, since we were doing this so it is there and uh, let's see if the log file has been generated or not okay so these commands got executed so we do have the logs also so this is how you can uh, make use of user data and uh, you know, do some great stuff uh, as i did for the auto scaling part so keep learning keep sharing thanks for watching